So hey there guys, today is March 12th, 2020, and we decided we would join, um, kind of gather here today to talk about National Conference. So all things National Conference. I have Christine on the line. Christine, how many times have you been to National Conference? Zero. Zero, so this will be I've your been first yet. time. What's up? I just said I haven't been yet. They haven't been yet. Okay, so, and Eve, how long have, how many times have you been to National Conference? I have been to conference three times. This will be my fourth time. I'm so excited. This will be your fourth time, and this one is particularly fabulous, and why is that? <laughs> because I will walk across the stage as a director, a new director, so I'll be uh, recognized that's, that's as a new director this year. Great. Yep. So um, we're kind of trying to go do face, uh, Zoom to Facebook Live while we're doing this conversation and the technology is not participating. So I'm recording this and what we're going to do is make this recording available. Um, certainly if you're watching this recording and you still have questions, don't just sit on them. Reach out to me, to Carol, to Ellen, whoever your director is. We have uh, lots of experience with this, and this conversation will keep going on, but there's a couple time-sensitive things really coming, coming out, just about to happen, and on March 23rd is the day that they will open up registration and housing for National Conference, and so we kind of have to have a couple things thought through before that happens, um, specifically around housing, because historically, housing just gets gobbled up really fast. I see a chat here, dress attire. I just, yeah, good job. I'm just gonna make a list of things. As so I kind think of have um, on, my, in, on my screen here, I've got a list of questions and we'll just kind of keep adding to them. So the questions that Christine just threw out and Eve, feel free to as well, you know, when you are going for your first time, what questions do you have, right? And we'll be mm -hmm. as thorough as possible. That way we can hand this video to, to folks who missed it today. But the dates to travel was on the question list, roommates and rooms and housing and hotels and that kind of stuff was on the question list. Costs, what are the extra costs out of pocket, how much money to bring, how much to budget, that kind of stuff. Um, Christine asked about giveaways. She's been hearing about the giveaways. Do I need to bring, bring an extra bag, that kind of stuff. The dress attire with the um, dress code. And then the great big huge elephant in the room is the coronavirus. Um, today is March 12th, and um, as of yesterday, a worldwide pandemic was formally announced with the coronavirus, and um, things are going to be very, very different for all of all people in the United States here over the next several weeks and likely months. So dates for national conference is early July. It could be that we're completely past this by then and there's no impact but obviously um pamper chef is watching all these details and so we will kind of proceed knowing that when you do book your travel and prices are really good right now because of that but when you book your travel get insurance go ahead this would be you know if you if you don't typically do that i get it but this would be that time where you want to get insurance on your flight so um, do that, all right? Um, who has the, who has the, and if you think of any other um, questions, Christine is asking in the chat, do they have food offered on site at the conference? We can answer that for you too. So keep those questions coming. We're just gonna kind of add to this list and then we'll, we'll hit them as we go. So starting off with dates, uh, <clears throat> what are the dates of national conference, guys? It's, uh... July 7th, well, July 8th through 10th, but you want to be there on the 7th. Okay. I'm going to share my screen so that you guys can see what I'm looking at here. And, okay. So here we have, um, so conference is July 8th through 10th. Can you see my little calendar over here on the side? Mm -hmm. July. Okay, so yes. typically in the past they did, um, so what they have here is it's July 8th, 9th, and 10th, which is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And um, the question is when to arrive and when to leave. And there is some details, um, there are some details there in, um, on the website. Have you guys seen 
where there's details on the website so far about National Conference. Yeah. yeah I saw the schedule. The, yeah, the schedule. Um, I know I took a screenshot of it. Let me find it. You had it on our, uh, in the team meeting yesterday. Oh, right. We had the there screenshot. Right, so it's the 8th, 9th, and 10th, but they, um, they do have events going on on Tuesday the 7th. For example, I'm an advanced director and I'm in a LEAD Plus program. And right here, a LEAD graduation is from 9 to noon, 9 a.m. to noon on Tuesday the 7th. Wow. So for me, I know for sure that I want to be there in my seat by 9 a.m. in Chicago, McCormick Place, but, um, and we're coming from the West Coast. So we lose time going to Chicago. We lose two hours. There are no flights for the most part. You might be able to find a red eye, but you wouldn't be able to leave the morning of the 7th and be there by 9 a.m. So for me specifically, I know that I need to fly on the 6th and go ahead and take that fourth night of, in, of hotel stay. The rest of the things that are going on on July 7th, registration, you can register. Um, from nine to 12, there's home office tours and there's heritage home tours from 9.30 to five. Um, so if you want to do those things, it looks like there's no, they don't have home office tours on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday or heritage home tours. So the question would be for those folks who have never been before, what is a home office tour and is it worth it for me to go in you know early in order to attend and what is heritage home tour? so christine is that a question you, would, you might have oh yeah definitely definitely and i'm going to point to eve and say and ask you to fill us in home office tour what is it and is it worth it to do it yes so the home office tour is um when you go from where the convention is and you go actually to the home office and you see the, the warehouse and you go through a tour of the whole place and you get to see how they um, package to prepare to ship all your boxes and how amazing that is. It's really interesting and you get to see kind of the test kitchen yes. and um, see all the different setups for the test kitchen, how they have all the different kinds of uh, different types of stoves and ovens and microwaves and to test so many different ways of testing the recipes. And, um, and there's just, it's amazing tour to see all the things that, um, that they do there and uh, to see, to meet some of the, the people that are, um, and that product. work there and, and product design even. Like we saw yes, several design. several years ago when they, just as an example, when they were designing, they had just launched the ceramic egg cooker. And so they used that as an example of showing us the design process and what, what they, what Pamper Chef does to come up with these products and the testing and the, and, and thing, but they had a freaking 3D printer and they had it making a ceramic egg cooker like physically right there and you could stand right next to it and talk to the gal who was in charge of the whole design process um and wasn't it last week in the, or last week last year in the test kitchen so they had announced they had not yet announced enrichables that was the next day but in the home office tour as we were going through the test kitchens sandy was standing right there in the test kitchen serving people pe samples of pizza pesto pizza and come to find out there was protein in the crust and kale fiber in the sauce That's awesome. and they were sampling us they were giving us samples and so you could stand right there and chat with sandy you, you get to meet these folks i mean doris might be walking through the halls um and you get to go and see where the the offices are and they've remodeled everything but um the the entrance to home offices uh, headquarters is actually set up like the most amazing museum to Pampered Chef. So there's all these all these displays and rooms and, and big walls with pictures and timelines and, and uh, cases that have like the original products and uh, it is exquisite and it's two stories and um, it's really worth seeing. 
So um, the home office tour, I would highly recommend it. Um, Eve, what it costs, $25, $35, something like that. They bus you out there and because uh, it's in Addison, Illinois. So when you sign up for the home office tour, it includes your, your bus ride and, um, and they give everybody has a number on the bus and they do raffles. And was it last year or the year before of the group? I think it was the year before of the group that we took and we had maybe eight people, three of us were raffle prize winners. And I got a, a me and, oh, I can't remember who, but we got an ice cream maker. They had just launched the ice cream. Carol maker. got one too. Yeah. You got one. Carol got one. And yeah. Who else? That was crazy. I know whoever's so, watching yeah, this recording is going to go, me, it was me. But um, yeah, you, they do so many prizes. So there's lots of raffles and prizes throughout conference. But if you go on um, the home office tour, they do several more raffles. Um, and there's, you know, there's lots of extra ways to go home with products. So, um, but that's home office versus heritage home. Eva, have you been to heritage, heritage home? I have not. So oh, I don't know you might want to consider that. Um, heritage home is the home that Doris and Jay Christopher lived in when they started the business in 1980 with their two little girls. And so over the years, they ran the business, they owned the home, eventually they sold it and moved on. And then years, decades later, um, they bought it and turned it into a museum for Pamper Chef. And so it's called Heritage Home and they've restored everything so that you can actually go and tour it and see the table where they sat for dinner and where they just came up with all the ideas for Pamper Chef. And the basement is bitty, 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 but it restored to exactly what it was like when they, they filled their own orders. She drove to the marketplace in Chicago and sourced products and they were delivered. They had them in their house and they filled bags and went and went and delivered. They actually ran this business out of their basement when it first started. Oh. Wow. And toward the house. Yeah. So that's, and I, I've been there, there was a, um, there was a incentive um, that I earned years ago where they flew me and my ex to Chicago for the weekend because we were in the top hundred people in the company that earned this particular award. And um, they, they uh, let us go to meet Doris at Heritage Home. And so I've been there, but it wasn't on one of the conference tours. Yeah. Um, so does that kind of answer your question about schedule and when to come in? Um, yeah, I guess it would also be tied to the hotels. Um, cause I know that they're doing block hotels, but is right. that like, would that be through? Like if I came in, cause you said we're coming in from California. So. Right. So if you are coming in, like it would probably be, the question would be is if you want to sign up for a home office tour, you can see here it's 10 to 12. There's just one block, one time block. Right. If you wanted to do that, you would need to come in the night before and get that, um, the six, the night of the six. So then you are connecting with the people that you're rooming with. And I know that you and Carol and Eve are already decided and to determine when they're coming in. And so if you guys are all coming in on the six, then you just get that extra night of your hotel. Okay. If and Christine, yeah. So it is part of, it can be part of the um, block for the national conference at the hotels. Okay. What about Friday night? Everybody, does anybody stay Friday night? Does everybody fly home that day? Folks are pretty much go. Um, if you decide to stay, you certainly can, but folks are pretty much like they finish and it, this says closing general session by 12. I would pad that a bit because in the past, there've yeah. been so much news that they ran over. I it's would late. not get a flight prior to, you know, maybe four o'clock, maybe the earliest on Friday. And if you're decide, if you decide I've never been to Chicago and I want to spend the weekend and play in Chicago, then um, you will find there's a national conference uh, Facebook page you will find okay. that there are other people who are doing that too. And so maybe you coordinate with, you know, for Friday night and or Saturday night to room with somebody else, but you can find people who are doing that on that national conference, Facebook page. If by chance your roommates are not staying over as well. Does that make sense? Did I lose you? I'm still here. I don't know about Christine. 
Yeah, Christine, did you hear me? I think we lost her. Okay. Yeah. So, and so, I saw one other schedule that it said that it ends at one on uh, Friday, oh, okay. but this one says two as uh, twelve. This one oh, says twelve. This, so this one is a screenshot. I can see it was from Sir February twenty fourth. So, yeah, I would not get a flight any later than uh, any earlier than say four o'clock. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty. And actually, so McCormick Place is actually a new. We used to be in McCormick Place all the time. This is just south of downtown Chicago on the water, on the lake. Um, for the past five or six years, we've been out at Rosemont. Is, do I have the name mm -hmm. right? I always get it mixed up with our Roseville here in California. And yeah, it's, it's Rosemont. Yep. Yeah, Rosemont is practically right on top of O'Hare Airport. McCormick Place is closer to Midway. Okay, um, that was the other thing, yeah. Which okay. which airport to go into, airport, yeah. Which so, airport yeah. to go into. So if you find a good, um, I'm gonna write that, airport. If you find a good deal in and out of Midway, there's gonna be transportation, there's a there's a train, okay? The, their trains are very, very good. Um, it's $2.25 one way on the train. I always take the train. Whether I fly into, typically I've been flying into Midway and I take the train to go all the way out to Rosemont and it's $2.50 one way, $2.50 coming back. And I love it. It's great because it's an elevated train. You can see, you know, you've got hour and a half on the train and you can, um, you can see so much of the city. So I like that. But, um, but there will again be people who are um, sharing Ubers and taxis and things like that or a, a, a coach out of the airport. So either airport will work for, um, for McCormick Place, but Midway's gonna be closer and, tip it, and Southwest runs out of Midway. So if you're a Southwest lover like I am, that's great. Yes. I would always do Southwest and, um, and take it in and out of Midway from whatever your airport is. And I travel out of um, Oakland, Oakland to Midway. There are two hubs for Southwest, okay? Eve, you're muted. What were you going to say? You're still muted. Yeah, <laughs> background noise. So I was yes, hear the kids. No problem. Noisy, but, um, so another thing I was wondering, I saw something a while ago about a, a discount for Delta flights oh, for conference. Yeah. And I can't remember. I've got to look back and find where and what that discount was for Delta flights. I think. Well, if you I think find it was Delta, it, did Kate post something about a discount for one of the one of the airlines? So, I think uh, it was something that um, had been shared on one of the director's sites, and then um, Sherry Carr posted it in her oh. team group. I think is where I saw it. I don't remember. Okay. Well, oh, one thing I will I tell you just that. with the, with the whole um, coronavirus going on, flights are falling. I mean, the prices of flights are in yeah. fact just plummeting. We have were, you? What's that, Christine? Have you gotten your flight yet, Shelley? No, uh, not I was at all. just looking. San Francisco is like forty or fifty dollars cheaper than Oakland. Okay, and that's a possibility. But you know what? You spend that extra money on the toll and parking. Parking's more expensive. Oh, in San Francisco, unless you take public transportation out to um, San Francisco. I've flown out, out of SFL before. Yeah. Yeah, I'll so. be getting dropped off. I just don't know if I'm flying from California or North Carolina. <laughs> right. There's that. Yeah. There's that. Exactly. Um, so in terms of airports and hotels and all that, let me just fill you guys in on my specific situation. My husband's family, I'm, I'm a newlywed, and his family's in Chicago. And he hasn't seen them in the longest time. He was going to go with me last year, and we ended up having some other trips that kind of ate up his vacation. He has a ton, but um, we had some other trips come up that, that he ended up going on. So he hasn't been with me to conference, but that has been our intent. And this year, he and I are going together. So, um, so JD is my roommate. <laughs> um, and then we're still trying to figure it out, but we have a timeshare and we're trying to figure, and we're, which we're selling. We're actually closing and like this week. 
on that. But um, I do have access to something. I just don't know if I can get a specific week in Chicago at the right time. If, and it's a very big long shot, but if we do, if we do figure that out, then it's possible that I might have a great big place that week. In which case I'm gonna to come to you guys and say, guys, I've got a great big place, cancel your rooms. But in the meet, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna know in time. So you go ahead and get your room reservations. And, um, and then if that comes about, then we'll be able to take advantage of it. But um, just know that typically everybody's, you know, we're divvying up people for roommates and whatnot. And um, I typically room with three other people, usually if, if we find a room that, that works for three people, but um, don't count on me as a roommate this particular year, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's for me. And then we will be coming in, you know, earlier and staying longer. We'll be staying that weekend because again, um, uh, his family is in the area and I haven't met them yet and they're older and we want to meet them. So, um, so there's that. Um, so can we, should we kind of use that as a segue to talking about rooms and hotels and roommates and all that kind of stuff? Sure. Any other questions about airports before I um, before we leave that topic. Okay. There's a national conference Facebook page for Pampered Chefs. So if you're not on that, put that on your to-do list and go, go join that right away. Cause that's a fabulous place for, for getting more details and finding people to partner with. You know, if you're coming in on the sixth, but the rest of your roommates aren't go and put that out there. I, I'm looking for roommates for just the night of the sixth. And then I'll join the rest of my group on the night, the seventh, eighth night. Okay. Cause that's how you would go about that. Um, similarly, people will start budding up uh, to, they'll get, um, I mean, again, Rosemont was farther away. McCormick place is just right along the, the, the train goes right past McCormick place. There's an exit. There's a stop at McCormick place for the train. So taking say from Midway or O'Hare, on the train to McCormick Place is gonna be super, but folks did partner up. Um, like I know there's people who are driving to National Conference. They're not flying and so they're already kind of grouping people up in and setting up carpools to drive into um, into Chicago. Okay, there's a slim chance that that's that we're driving because my dad's along the way and we need to see my dad too. Um, but, any other questions about airports or that kind of stuff that's super important? Um, Eve, I'm gonna put you in charge of checking on that Delta news for us. And then, um, so rooms and hotels. So one of the benefits of having Eve and I and every Carol and Ellen having gone to national conference like year after year after year is that we know the hotels really well and we could give you really good recommendations and we could be very clear and say, okay, we're gonna go to this hotel or that hotel because we've been there year after year. This year is different. Because I wanna say it's been five or six or more years that we have been going to conference at a totally different place. Rosemont <laughs> is a different town entirely in the outskirts of Chicago. This is McCormick Place, that one right there. And Pampered Chef used to have their conference at McCormick Place. So I started in 2000. My first conference was in 2001. This is where we went. And we all did hotels in downtown Chicago. And Pampered Chef set up shuttles to and from the four or five hotels that were on the Miracle Mile, right in the heart of downtown Chicago, to McCormick Place, because there weren't hotels at the McCormick Place, if you're not familiar with it, it is a one of the country's largest convention centers. And there will be, I don't know, 20 different companies having their conference simultaneously. And this place is so big that you won't even know that there's other companies doing their conferences simultaneously. So what I've heard, and we're coming back to McCormick Place because we outgrew Rosemont. And um, what I've been told is that it is now so built up around McCormick Place that there's hotels right there and places to eat and 
public transportation. So we will actually be in a hotel right there at McCormick. What are the hotels? Eve, have they, have they um, told us which hotels? I haven't seen. I was just going to try and get on the computer while I'm here and check for that. Have you seen Christine? Because I don't remember whether they've actually um, said that. Not yet. I haven't seen. But I'm like, like Eve, I was going to look. I saw something and I saw. Um, where are my notes? Uh, bah, 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 bah. So there's a there is a page on um, Pampered Chefs. Um, this one is just not working. So if you go and log into Consultants Corner, there is a page for a national conference. And on March 23rd, all kinds of information will show up on that page. I do believe the names of the hotels have been um, training. Center chips. Where is it? National Conference. This one to explore. I can never find it when I actually am, when we're sitting here and recording. Do <laughs> you guys see it? National Conference. So they have a page, but it doesn't have a ton of, of info on it right this minute. Um, I wonder if it's under stirs. But on March 23rd, it will in fact have tons of info. And right now, I think there's actually a list of hotels and the prices. Have you guys, have you guys found it? No, I've not yet. Okay. I'm looking for. Okay. So I'm, I'm guessing not, this is not. There we go. February 24th. What's happening at National Conference? So yeah. that's basically why. Events and national conference. Yeah, there's not a lot there right now, unless I'm missing it. Um, here's one that just says we have room blocks at several hotels. We won't be hanging, but it doesn't. Yes. Yeah. So they've got blocks for us, and it is. I will tell you, the hotels in that area are a little bit more expensive than what we were paying the last several years. The last several years, we would typically put three or four people in a room and room rates were with the taxes and everything in the 170 to 190 dollar range or and if you do that for like three nights you're about 60 or 70 dollars a night so you're paying just under 200 dollars for your room okay so the rates i remember seeing them and um and uh, they're higher they're like in excess of like 200 to 220 per room. It's because the, the location is different. Uh, so you want to budget two to three hundred dollars for your hotel room in general. Chicago, locking up hotels. We have rooms booked at several hotels in Chicago. We won't leave you hanging because the location, the cost of red and the cost of registration. Okay. So I'm not, I am not seeing a list of hotels right this minute. Again, March 23rd is the date. So we can't really tell you we're gonna be picking this hotel. So we'll find out a little bit more details about that before March 23rd. The part you need to be doing now for purposes of getting registered and getting housing is deciding who you wanna room with. Last year we had folks who said, you know, I don't share a bed with anybody, so I'm getting my own room. Or I'm just rooming with one person and we each have a double bed. Then there's those of us who we're more about economy and, and affordability and we're like, we'll pack as many people into a room as we possibly can, <laughs> right? And so typically your max is four people. Um, we did in previous years have three people where we had two, two double beds and then a roll out, uh, a roll away kind of twin bed. So um, if we find that hotel list, our hope is to get an embassy suites that has a suite and maybe we get a large suite and then we can kind of share it with six or eight people and breakfast would be included. So that's a good thing too. 
So we want to kind of study the hotels a little bit. That's about as much information as I have on it right now, except for the fact that you want to partner up and decide who you're rooming with. So Christine and Eve and Carol have told us that they're already connected as a room, rooming group. Yeah. Kate and Annette have partnered up and are looking for a third. I've heard that. Me and JD are not looking for, for roommates, so that's better for you guys. And then um, you do want to decide who's going to be the, the room head because that will be the person who books your room. And that person will need your name and your consultant I'm gonna number. Book You're going to book it. So Eve is going to need, in order for her to do that when it opens up on the morning of the 23rd, she's going to have to give a deposit, a credit card, and they'll charge one night's charge one night uh, room rate onto her card and she'll keep track of that and she's going to need though to put in her roommate so she needs full names and consultant numbers and okay. so if, it, if Christine messed up and was told somebody she was rooming with them and somebody else and they both tried to put Christine in the system is going <laughs> to go still no that's not okay so we do need to put buddy up okay um, who's going from our team? Uh, let me tell you who's on my list right now. And these are the folks who I've been keeping my, my national conference who wants to go list. So this is under Shelly's team. And this one is under <coughs> Carol's team. So under Carol, I've got Eve. Um, why did I have Brittany? Brittany, Rosario, and Laurel. So Brittany and Rosario are on my team. And then um, I had Christine right here. So rooming, right? And so I've got an extra place down here and keeping track of rooms. Carol with Eve and Christine and Eve is gonna be the room head, right? Okay, yep. and then yes, uh, Kate and Annette told me that they're gonna do it and Annette is the room head. So. We've got uh, Michelle, Christine, Kate, Steve, Dave, Rosario, Brittany, Carol Rodriguez. I talked to her just the other day and she's a maybe working on it. Annette said, yes, Gretchen lives nearby and told us she's definitely going. Brittany's on here twice. Good for me. Rosario's on here twice. Good for me. <laughs> Eve, Laurel, Ellen's going and Brenda Hayward is one of our sister directors. So that's who I have on my list so far. Ebert, do you know of anybody I'm missing? Uh, not that I can see right now. Okay. Um, Christine, have you heard of anybody else? Mm-mm. Okay. Okay. So that's I'm hoping list. to oh. get somebody else for my team, but we'll see. Okay. Possibly. And you're kind of talking with Bonnie, question mark, right? Yeah. And yeah. All right. And then as people tell me, no, they're not going, I'm adding their, their name because I think Lisa said she's not going, right? Uh, my uh, Gretchen Rudman said she's not. Lisa hasn't decided Lisa. for sure yet. Okay. Lisa. So put Lisa on here. Bonnie has a question mark. Lisa has a question mark. Okay. So we're kind of still that, that list is developing. Um, registration when you're in your first year when national conference falls in your first year you get a nice break on registration so it's 129 dollars for people who are um in their first year right here 129 the rest of us general registration is 249 dollars and what do you get for that That's Christine had questions about what are all these goodies I'm hearing about, right? <laughs> what are all these goodies? Okay. Typically, um, they used to include a lot of meals and they would have banquets. Uh, they've kind of slimmed that down in recent years so that they can give us more goodies and everybody's meal preferences were super different. So yeah. it just wasn't cost effective for Pampered Chef to provide lunch and things like that because folks, some loved it, some didn't. At the convention hall, there will be vendors that are selling salads and sandwiches, and there's a coffee place. There will be tons, there will be lots of vendors. Um, but it's very likely, I don't have it right in front of me, but it's very likely that there's no meals included in that. However, P 
Pamper Chef always sends you home with major amounts of goodies. When you register, you will get a bag. So if you come to my house and you see all the Pamper Chef bags I have, every conference I get a new bag. So that's 19 of them, right? Wow. A bag. And it's our 40th anniversary, so there's going to be a lot of other things. But, um, but in terms of what it includes, I, I have heard that there is a party. Yes, it was in her, I think. I saw something. It's on Thursday night. I just saw it a little bit ago. Where did I see it? Thursday night. Registration closing. I didn't. It's not on this chart, but um, so if you have information about that, but there's a party now. You guys are super lucky because historically, the party was directors only. And I have heard that this party is everybody who attends. And there's something absolutely, oh my gosh, amazing about what Pamper Chef does with the parties. I'm gonna just pop this open because I've got, over the years, I've um, kept um, folders where I just put all of my, all of my um, Pampered Chef, let me see, where is it? My Pampered Chef pictures. Where are they? I know. Let me see what I can. Let me see what I can find um, for national conference. But um, PC Fun, there it is. Okay, PC Fun. Oh my gosh. So here's just an example from national conference from um, tw 2010, and we. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my mother had fallen, and she. Yep. So. Um, we have so much fun, but we have absolutely, because this is downtown Chicago, uh, Mary, let's see what else we got. My mom was in a wheelchair that particular year. She took a, a fall, um, at the party the morning, day before she traveled to national conference. So she was in a wheelchair the whole time. So anyway, they do these parties though, but Eve will tell you that, um, Actually, you haven't been to one, have you? This from 2011. Uh, I'm just going to click through things. So they do. They'll put a theme to the to the um, the party, and sometimes we've had an 80s theme. Sometimes we had a pajama party. Sometimes we had um, dress up as your favorite, you know, movie uh, movie star. And they had the red carpet, but the, the theme is out right, and there's food all over the place and photo booths and little trinkets to take home and a, usually a, either live DJ or a band and dancing. So the dancing is off the charts. If you like to dance, we, we close the place down. Pampered chefs dance like nobody's business and it's actually outrageously fun. So there's Gail Schendelman from way back. And we get we make a great big deal about when somebody promotes to director. Here's the party, and Ellen's ring and bling and the whole bit. So picking up uh, your jewelry for excellence. Um, they we have a ton of fun. Let me find one that's more recent. Uh, <laughs> fun. I'm trying to remember what that. I one found. Was. It was a post that I had seen from someone named Bonnie Coates. Yeah. But it, was, it was in the um, Pampered Chef conference Facebook page. And there was just a list of information. And number eight was there will be a 40th anniversary party for all consultants. Details to be announced. In the evening. Oh, my gosh. Okay, great. Okay. This was, um, they had an 80s party. And we were all checked out in our, uh, in our um, <laughs> like live fever stuff. Yep. And that was the hotel we've stayed at the last couple of years. Yeah, PC Fund 2019. So this is Ellen. If you guys don't know Ellen, well, here we go. So this was us just uh, last year in 2019. But Ellen is my mother, you know that. And so we had Kate and Kathy, Eve and Carol, and um, it was a super fun time. And we had t-shirts. We need somebody to design us our t-shirt for this year. I completely forgot about that. So this was the year we found out that um, they we were earn, working on earning the Disney trip. So we made a T-shirt for our team with the Disney ears. 
that kind of ended up being sort of boob shaped. But so we, we need to kind of think that through again for this <laughs> And if we want to put a cruise or rock stars, or we need somebody who to be super fun about. And then um, the actual um, director's party was um, dress up. And I think it was, um, uh, what was the theme? Yeah, so he's from Top Gun and Ellen was Julia Child and I was the, the chef from Remy and the chef from um, Ratatouille. That's me, see, see the, the rat on the top of my hat i like it so we ended up being coordinated as it turned out but um i haven't heard what the um, the theme for the party is but we've got um you guys will all get to attend which is great um what other questions does that kind of give you some i think you were asking about you know do i need to bring an extra bag christine for things yeah that you bring? one thing they do is they have fedex on site and you can pay in the past, I don't know if the prices are same, same, but in general, you could pay 10 bucks for a box, fill it with all of your stuff and seal it up and, it, and send it home. And it would be on your porch practically before you got there. So FedEx is on site specifically for that so that you do not have to haul all your goodies home. And what goodies are we talking about? Like I said, they do a lot of raffles. So a lot of people do win prizes but they have nifty keen things called party packs. Eve, did you do party packs in the past? Tell us what are party packs? I'm gonna go through some more pictures here. So the party packs are uh, typically what I've seen is the $25 or the $50 party pack. So it's uh, a box that you buy the $25 box and you don't know what's gonna be in the box, but there's lots of, uh, fun goodies in the box um, and the $50 box. It's a bigger box. Right. You hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah. So it's either current Pamper Chef products, but most often it's previously, previously um, carried Pamper Chef items. Yeah. And some discontinued a, things. A $25 yeah. box might have like 75 to a hundred dollar value in it. Is that pretty on target Eve or more? Probably some of the things I got, I don't know the, cause they were discontinued stuff. So I don't know the actual prices when they were. Right. So, so the right. value of it, I don't know. But it's a surprise. It's a, and people go nuts. And there's them. some, there's some really great things in those surprise boxes. Yeah. That's why they're called a surprise is because surprise if you don't know what's, right. what you're That's what they're called. Surprise boxes. And people will go, they'll, they'll go, you know, with lists of box um, requests from their customers. Like they'll use the month prior to conference and say, guys, let me know. I'm putting, putting in orders for surprise boxes. So if you give me $25 plus 10 for the shipping, I'll get you a surprise box and ship it to you. And, and it will have, you know, 75 or $100 worth of, so they use that as a way of, uh, of generating excitement with all their customers before leaving for national conference. Um, and another so, thing about the surprise boxes, um, they sometimes will have a golden ticket in some of the boxes exactly. where you get an extra prize. If you get a golden ticket in your surprise box, then there's something else that is a extra special. Yeah. And, and I remember Barbara, Barbara uh, Cockrell got a golden ticket and she got a, like a set of cookware and oh, then wow. shipped it home. Um, there were people who were getting um, double burner grills. There were people who were getting the stainless cookware. So again, they pro they did those kinds of things for the discontinued one. We had just come out with our new stainless and we had our discontinued stainless. And so that's what they were putting, giving us the prizes for the golden ticket, but big thing. Big, big, big thing, right? So, yeah. Uh, golden tickets Kathy got fun. a golden ticket too, I think. So. Did she? There's Kathy right there yeah. with Jean Jonas okay. and Judy Joel. And this is at, this is inside the test kitchen. So here's Ellen and me and Annette. And I'm trying to look to see who else. There's Kathy. Yep. Well, this is actually where they record a lot of the uh, training videos that they do for us. And there's five or six different test kitchens. Um, and, uh, okay. So in terms of bringing, some people do like they compress a bag that they can check and put it in their, in their, um, suitcase. So you go out with one bag and come back with two, for example, but pay attention to bag fees through your airline and, and it's easier to just ship them. 
just ship them because then you don't have to haul things to the airport. Okay, in general. Um, okay, is this all good, helpful? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna have to pop off in about five minutes. So if yeah, I miss anything, then I'll travel uh -huh. hotel rooms, costs. So your costs include your meals. If you're gonna go nuts on surprise packs, you want to budget for that. <laughs> Um, you can use your Pampered Chef order payment account for a lot of things, but do bring some cash for, um, ex, you know, breakfast and things like that. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. The other thing that they have available is PC gear. And so this you want to budget for as well, because we do have PC gear on our website, but they are physically right there on site with a chain, a dressing room and some of their stuff is just so much fun. Last year I came home with um, I came home with a bunch of little things that you guys have been seeing. When we saw Eve and Carol the other night, I had a blue um, infinity scarf that was all uh, got the Pampered Chef um, beautiful emblems and whatnot on it. And I, I told them blue is the color advanced director. And I told Carol, I'm holding on to this until you promote to advanced director. That will be my gift for you. Well, I gifted it to her on Tuesday Aww. night. A picture of her in it. Um, I came home with a bunch of these cute little wow pens. They say wow, and they're red, and I gifted one to Eve the other day, and when Brittany's team promoted, everybody got one of these. So um, there's a lot, there's clothing and bags and little things and big yeah, things. Yeah, the jacket that I, sorry, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The jacket that I was wearing on Tuesday was from, I got it from National Conference. It was actually on a clearance. So some of the things they have clearance PC yeah. gear, a discounts, yeah. and then there's other um, new things from the current year. And mm -hmm. yep. really Each year color. they have a different theme. And so they have shirts designed for that year's theme. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. They have a really cute toddler shirt I want to get, but it's sold out for my son. Every time I go to buy it, it's sold out. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that one's adorable. adorable. That's Jean Jonas. Mom's yeah. taste um, tester or something like that. Oh, good. Yeah, so you kind of, and you do, um, I will give you a little tip about kids. So those of you who are watching this recording, if you have little ones at home, Okay, they kind of, you like mommy's going away to conference and you do all this planning in advance to get meals ready for everybody and all this kind of stuff. And you go and you spend your time at conference. And as a mom with little kids in my first couple years, they expect and you want to bring them treats home. Okay, mommy shows up when she's done with her trip and they're like, what did you bring for me? So a tip for you, you could spend your very valuable time while you're in conference looking for things for your children and you get to the airport at the end of the trip and go oh my gosh I have it and then spend like big bucks in the stores in the airport my little affordable trick for you is go to the dollar store or your favorite toy store now <laughs> go now go find some thought well thought through things that you know your children would like because in the moment in Chicago, you are going to just be, there is so much great stuff happening. You're going to be walking through the aisles, the hallway and see Judy Joel and end up in, or sitting with her at lunch or Jean Jonas or, or Doreen Grass and these folks or Sherry Carr, all these people. And you're going to want to take advantage of every single opportunity to sit and talk with these folks. A lot of the great learning you do happens between the different classes because you're, you meet people. And, and so you want to be focused on that. You don't want to be like, oh, I've got to leave conference and go shopping and go find things for my children. So yes, the kids are very, very vital and important, but they really couldn't, they don't know whether something came from Chicago or not. Yeah. So go get some treats now. Stash them in the deep, dark corner of your closet come home give hugs take my bags upstairs and go grab those things out of the closet and say look what i brought for you you will be so less stressed okay that was my little tip from years of going to national conference and being like oh my gosh i didn't get anything and they're gonna be so upset if i walk in empty-handed yeah so there you go and it's super expensive to buy stuff at the in the little stores at the airports um 
So let's see, I know you gotta go. So we will, Eve, um, do they have food, food offered on site? Yes, dress attire. Um, historically, Doris Christopher was always very, very opposed to blue jeans. And so us old timers, we shy away from blue jeans at National Conference. That rule has kind of gone out the door. <laughs> You're gonna be doing a lot of walking and standing and walking. So make sure you have super comfortable shoes that are broken in and wear, you know, business attire, kind of um, a, a step up from your sweats. All right, slacks and blouses. It's more important to have be business comfortable, casual. I think. Yeah. Business casual, business casual, yeah. Um, layers, do layers yeah. because you'll have some rooms that are warmer than others or maybe it's hot outside and super cold because of the air conditioner inside. So layers, 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 right? All right. But good walking shoes. Dresses are fine. Skirts and blouses are fine. Capris are fine. Sandals are fine. It's, you know, you, you want to be thinking about you're meeting brand new people and you are, are representing yourself and your business. So it's, it's business, you know, business casual. Does that help? Thank you. Yep. Bring an umbrella, bring a jacket for cold nights going out and finding dinner. And we will, as a team, we will have one time at least where we have team time. And we've in the past, we've bombarded a, a, like a bar somewhere or we go out and we get Chicago style pizza, but we do it all as a team and it's my treat. Mm. And, uh, yeah. So we'll do something like that. Okay. I don't know when on the calendar until I see the rest of the schedule. All right. Good. Is that helpful? Yep. yep. Okay. Thank you very much. You bet. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to sign off on the recording. Don't you guys leave yet? But um, for those of you who are watching this recording, think of more questions and I hope this was helpful and we can't wait to see it at National Conference. Definitely don't miss it. If you, if you, oh my gosh, don't miss it. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> All right.